what if next month I find out I'm pregnant? Because the move is settled and... bush in my face you want to you want to welcome everybody to the vlog say hi guys we're going at golf <laughs> he wants to go to golf today let's go guys welcome back to my channel welcome back to my channel <laughs> and and i have a baby and i going that's your homework he's working on cassidy's homework yep and this is getting a look. Oh, you're doing their schoolwork for them? You're for Daddy Gaming. Welcome back to our channel. Today is an exciting day after almost living here for three weeks, one week in a rental car, and then two weeks with just Lewis's car, not going anywhere. I haven't stepped into a Target in two weeks, guys. Like, who am I? Who am I? <laughs> I haven't stepped into a grocery store because the thing is, Louie and I don't go together. Look, this is in my pocket. Oh. So, Louie and I don't go together because one of us stay here with the kids, so I haven't gone grocery shopping. Can you tell everybody what we're getting today? What are we getting? Baby! No. We're getting what? Mommy's new car. Mommy's new car. Here, have you got your white car? The boys' new rug is here. Daddy has to finish putting together their bed. It's for the most part done. Just a couple things have to be fixed, like putting those on. We bought the mattresses and they're actually still at the post office because they don't have people to deliver them. It's a whole mess. But anyways, it's coming as soon as we get our new car. We're gonna put the rug down, then we're gonna put the bed where it's going to be, and we're gonna get this show started. I love this rug. I got it from Overstock. It's going to go perfect with their bedding because instead of going with a gray bedding, I decided to go with a blue bedding which is going to match this rug. Freaking perfect. I can do these ones, I just need to do to the ends because the ends are like tape. The two things that I really think make a room is the bed with the bedding and the rugs because that was one thing about this house that I absolutely fell in love with because our last house I said I would never do carpet again. Never ever in any of the rooms do carpet and especially living near the beach, no carpet because of sand and so when we found this house and it had absolutely no carpet, I wanted to do rugs to kind of make it less echoey. You can change out rugs if you want to change your room. You could just change the rugs out. If the rugs get beat up, you can change them out a lot cheaper than you can replacing carpet. Guess who's home? Daddy's home. Right when we have a, a turn of events. <laughs> what we, oh my God, it's so heavy. What we thought we were gonna get, that's the Tesla charger. I'm going to see my new car. Oh, there's a security guard. <laughs> Let's go on a test drive, go on, get in, jump in. I, I changed the ambient lighting so oh. it's see. How do you guys like it? I mean, it hit, it hit a thousand miles already. Oh, a thousand to one. I was hoping it'd be just under Look, a thousand. Louie hit a thousand miles in the car. Oh, but I she's still like brand new. Look, she's soft. Oh, I know. Oh, nice? Guys, Phil. Oh. All right, let's take her on a little spin right, for a you second. You guys have fun. Oh. Come on with us. We're just going to go one little thing. Why is it red in the back? Oh, wow. The brake lights. Yay, we got yeah. Let me drive her. Let me drive. Oh, wow. Yeah. We got a front camera? 
You got a front camera, you got a 360 camera. Oh, look at me coming out. Let me, let me. Can it go fast? It's not like a. It's in comfort mode right now. I feel like they have plenty of, I mean, they have a lot of room. Oh, they have ton of, and these move forward, they recline back. They're heated, they're cooled. Those back seats are heated and cooled. Oh, yeah, really? Fully Look, I saw this too. Look, yeah, USB this is port. USB chargers. There's even a full regular charger down here. It's a nice car. Oh, she smooth. Rides. She rides smooth. You just set your phone here and it charges it. You got the old crap handles here. I know. I was watching somebody and somebody's like, and if the driver is holding on to both of these, you have a problem. Be <laughs> nice. You like it? All right, turn these off. Make sure these are all off, guys. Lewis just got home and showed me my new car. Oh my gosh, I cannot believe it. I finally have a car again, guys. I can go and do all the things that I need to do on myself. She's already got a thousand miles on her because Louis had to drive her from Dallas over here, but that's okay. Um, she's gonna get a lot of miles driven on her from us and the kids. She is so cute. I don't know how to turn my lights off, but Look at that and then Louis is actually gonna get his car wrapped here pretty soon So we're gonna have the yin and the yang Oh Grandma brought you guys home a little something something you gotta put this away though. No. You can pick one of them to have. I'm having Good morning guys and happy Monday. Welcome to today's vlog. I'm getting ready to get in the car to take the kids to school. Gonna go on our first official drive in the new car. So freaking excited. So let's go. Yeah, we No, need yours is right here. No, what do you mean it looks like your jacket? Of course, it's the same one. Are you gonna do <laughs> the mall? <laughs> is it? Everybody buckle up! Everybody buckle up! Charges my phone, let's see. I don't need my phone charged, but. I think you just is it I turned it the other way, so I don't know. Okay. That guy's got a a golf cart. Oh. There's no seat here back there, babe. No. What I will tell you guys is now that I got my car, yeah. next we're gonna get a golf cart. Golf cart. So can you help? And bro, we should get spray paint and let's say. On. How was the first ride? Good. 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 You like the new car? Originally when we moved out here to Florida, we had sold my Yukon that had all those problems only after having it for three and a half years. Like so crazy. My warranty was only good for three years. So of course the half the six months after my warranty is no longer good, everything just goes to crap. So when we sold it, we moved out here and Lewis drove the U-Haul out here with his car. And then the kids and I flew out here and we rented a car for the first week of being out here, kind of week and a half of being out here. I wasn't really going anywhere when we then moved out here and didn't have a rental car anymore. Lewis was more doing all of the school drop off because he had his car and I don't feel comfortable driving his old school Lincoln. He knew it was time for us to get a car finally. And what we didn't realize is it's a little bit more tricky <laughs> to purchase a car in a destination location because you don't have a lot of people coming on a trip trying to trade in a car, right? So the used market here is really slim pickings, like really slim pickings. And we all know once you buy a car, you drive it off the lot, 
you've lost so much in the value of it. We haven't been the ones to buy new cars. And so it wasn't really in our best interest to buy a brand new car and the used market down in a destination location is just not the best. When we were in Dallas, you have basically every dealership in each city of Dallas. So you have like a Plano GMC, you have a uh, McKinney GMC, you have a Dallas GMC, you have a Fort Worth GMC, you have a Grapevine GMC, and that's just not GMCs. You have a Lexus and Volvo, you name it, you have it there. So you have a plethora of cars to choose from, and the used market is really good because you have people wanting to buy new cars on the daily there, so they're getting a lot of trade-in that they're then going to sell to other people. Well, we didn't really know that because we've never lived in a destination place. We've lived in, well, I've lived in Phoenix, which has a lot of dealerships, huge Metroplex that has dealerships all over and a lot of people. And then you have the Dallas Metroplex that has a lot of people and a lot of dealerships. And then you come out here and there's not really hardly any of them. There are a couple, if you go an hour, I would say west, and then you have a couple if you go about 45 minutes east. However, like I said, because both areas are destination, so you have Destin, which is a destination, and then you have Panama City Beach, which is a destination, you don't have a lot of people trading in their cars. We had gotten here, we had started looking at cars, and you guys know I wanted my GMC. I loved my GMC, even though we started having problems, I still loved, the feel of it, I loved how much room we had. I just really enjoyed when I had that car. My honest feelings were I wanted a GMC. So when we came out here, I found a GMC. It was so cool. They had it listed as brand new. However, when we went to go see it in person, it already had 2,000 miles on it. Well, if a car has 2,000 miles on it, it's not brand new. When you buy a brand new car, it has maybe tops 20 miles maybe 45 miles, maybe from the test drives that everybody's taken, maybe 45 miles, but 2000, no, no, no. They want a top dollar for it. They wanted like it was a brand new car. So one, we're not even getting a brand new car and we're still driving off the lot and we're, and we're paying all this extra after driving off the lot when it's not a brand new car. So Lewis wasn't really feeling that one. It was a beautiful car. That one was a GMC Yukon XL a T4 package. It was fully loaded. It was a beauty. It was a beauty. It was a cool looking car. And I really think that maybe if they had that one in stock and they weren't trying to sell it brand new, um, when it had 2000 miles on it and they said, we had asked them like, how does it have 2000 miles on it? And you're trying to sell it brand new. And they're like, well, the owner of the dealership's wife drove it for 2000 miles and it was never legally registered to anyone. So we can sell it as brand new. Like homie don't play. So if you guys go down on price, we'll talk. Well, they did not want to go down on price. They had had it for a while. And so we were just like, you know what? It's not a good sign, not a good sign. So then Lewis at that point, before we even went, Lewis was like, I want a Tesla, I want a Tesla. We were looking at the Tesla Model X uh, seven seaters. And I had told Lewis, the least amount of seats I want is seven because I know in a span of, you know, the next two to three years, we're gonna have another baby. I hope, I pray. Um, but my heart wants us to have another baby and so, I need at least seven seats. Even though six would fit us perfectly right now, I just feel that we need seven seats. So we started looking at Teslas. I actually really got into Teslas. Like I started looking at them and falling in love with them. Really started thinking like this could be a cool car for us. Now the room and the sizing from a Yukon XL is completely different than a Model X Tesla. We drive, but we don't need a lot of space, like with a bunch of things in the back because we live so close to the beach. We can just take a golf cart to the beach. 
and all of that. So we started looking at the Model X. Again, we live in a destination place, so there are not a lot to choose from. And if you go through like CarMax or True Car, they have a bunch of them, but you have to have them delivered to you. So we were calling around having dealerships send us videos. We actually found a couple we really liked. Call Tesla and then you find out what the warranty is on the package, make sure it has everything. But I'm telling you right now, Tesla has changed things now from then. So if you're going to buy a Tesla, you need to know this information because I only found out this information from watching other YouTube videos and actually calling Tesla. They've changed their warranty. Cannot get a warranty on a Tesla if you buy from a third party company. So if you buy from a cars.com, a truecars.com, that warranty is no mas, no more warranty. However, if you buy from the Tesla website for the used cars, you have a year warranty on the car. Now, we were like, okay, we'll just buy from the Tesla website on the used cars. Everything we wanted in a car, the car was coming out to be like $135,000. Homegirl is not paying $135,000 for a car. Nope, not brand new, not when like two years later, it's gonna be worth half. No, 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 no. They don't hold their value. Cars are just like that. It's not like a housing market. Then we started looking on the used cars on the website from Tesla. There are little disclaimers all over it that say, because when you go on the website, you do not see an actual photo of the car. You see a stock photo of all the different options that the car has, but it's not the actual car. And it does have little disclaimers that say, this car does have normal wear and tear. Um, you can obviously pick if you want a car that's been in an accident or not. You cannot see the car. You can ask for information. And I asked for a lot of information on a lot of these cars. And they were like, no, we don't have it with us right now. We can't give you any more information. We can't do anything. And I'm like, okay, well, what happens if you bring it to me? You're paying for shipping, not them. You're paying for it. So if you bring me the car, what happens if it's not everything I thought it was? And I'm paying like primo price for a car. I'm not talking about a cheap car, 30,000. Not that 30,000 is a cheap car, but <laughs> cars are expensive. When you're paying upwards of 75 plus for a car, I kind of want to see it before I'm buying it. I started looking into what happens if it comes and it's not everything I wanted. Is there a return policy? And nope, because you're buying it from the Tesla website that is probably getting it from the actual owner, there's no returns. Once it's sold, it is sold. I cannot spend $75,000 on something and not know if it's gonna be everything I wanted and more. I wanna walk into a dealership and see the car and know exactly which one I'm getting. So it just really put a bad taste in my mouth. And so um, I found one Tesla that we found here in Florida where we live. We were able to go test drive it. So we test drove it, we fell in love with it. Now the catch with that one is even though it's at a dealership, the owner of the dealership owns this car, his wife, he bought it for his wife, and he was selling it, and because we could say it was owner to owner to Tesla, we would still get the warranty. So I was like, all right, we're on to something, we're on to something. However, there was only one drawback of this car. And I was pretty dead set that we were, and Lewis was pretty dead set that we were gonna get this car, that I even knew that the car was gonna be delivered on a Friday when Louis was out of town, that I went on to Tesla's website and I ordered a Tesla charger for the house that I was gonna have installed by somebody here. So that is why I had the Tesla charger because we were dead set on a Tesla. The only drawback of the car here that was local was it was a six seater. It was a beautiful car, beautiful. It was fully upgraded. I mean, it was everything we wanted. It was like 
an original price of like $136,000. Now let me tell you, two years later, it's worth 72,000. So that's how much they decrease in value. That is why you do not buy new. Unless you're truly set on new, you don't buy new. It's not ever gonna retain its value. Lewis was out of town and we were getting ready to, like everything was ready. We're gonna deliver it and everything was like all fine and dandy. And then that night, I had this overwhelming feeling of if we buy this car, because I'm not about the life of getting something just to have to like get rid of it in a year. I don't want to buy a house that I'm going to move in from a year. I don't want to buy a car that in a year because I know a year is going to go by so fast that I'm going to be in this predicament that I could be stuck because the car is not worth like they're making more cars all the time. So obviously my car is depreciating in value and all we're gonna do is put miles on it. So all it's gonna do is depreciate. So I just got this overwhelming feeling that what has been truly on our mind the last year and that is to grow our family. And I feel like everything happens for a reason. And if we do go with this car, which I love, oh my God, it was beauty. What if next month I find out I'm pregnant because the move is settled and the selling of the house is settled and life's kind of back to normal that I'm more relaxed. And what if we get pregnant and our family doesn't fit in the car? Are we getting ourselves into something that in a year we could have to sell? That was always in the back of my mind when we were going through this whole process, but when we were about to make it official, I was like, oh my gosh, I just wish there was a seven seater. And so then we went back to the drawing board, like having one shipped here, but then we didn't want to run the risk with everything that we had go on with our GMC. And one, only to have a one year warranty was still not enough for me, but it was at least something. A five year warranty, yeah, it works when it's the seller that bought the car, not when it is um, a used car and someone else purchases it. So that's really the catch of the Tesla warranty. Um, they changed their guidelines. I don't know, I just started having second thoughts and then Lewis and I talked about it. I started looking again at cars. At this point, Lewis is out of town now. He's in Dallas where his family is. I sent his brother a text that's in Dallas and I say, what about this car? And I told him like, it was a Tesla. I always used Louis's brother as like my Tesla guru because he has a Tesla and he really is into Tesla. So I use him as like to give me the information like is this a good deal so i sent him a couple more and i said what do you think about this and he sends me back this picture of a car and he said how about this fully loaded brand new 10-year warranty available tomorrow at 8 a.m you have to make a decision by then because it will not last one minute and i'm like what so I look at it and I'm like, it's white like I want. It's got blacked out rims like I want. It's the Kia Telluride, which it's funny because a year prior to this, before the Telluride was like this huge thing that everybody wanted, Louis was having poker night and one of his friends we had bought diapers for because his wife was getting ready to have their baby. And so he had pulled up to have us load the diapers into his car and we're like what the heck kind of car are you driving like that is nice and he's like the tell you ride and we're like what and we're like that is so sweet never thought about it again just thought it was a really sweet car and i had then heard of you know everybody wanting this car but they're on back order 
and you have to wait for them to come in and when they come in they're like hot commodities used ones are selling for over like the price um the new ones coming in people the dealerships are wanting over msrp so i had heard the craze about the telluride I never was like oh that's the car for us i never saw inside of it never nothing and so when my brother-in-law sends me this car i'm like that's nice i'm like how many seats does it have in it and he's like seven and I'm like, well, that's what we want. And he's like, if you guys want this car, the guy who sold Angel her car said he will meet you here early just so you guys can get it. Um, but you gotta, you gotta come and get it. You gotta make a decision. If not, it's gonna be gone. Somebody had customized it and pimped it out, got every single feature on it. And when I say it's truly decked out, it is truly decked out and has every single feature on it. They had wanted it, but then when it came in, something happened to where they could no longer get it. And so it was gonna be free, not free, but it was gonna be a free for all once nine o'clock came around it would not even last a minute the whole reason lewis went to dallas was he had this gala he had to go to this gala i don't know how to say it. gala gala i don't know but anyways he had this gala he would he was going to so that night when his brother was texting me he was speaking as soon as he left i called and said hey your brother sent me a car and i think it's the one i just feel like everything is meant to be even with this house i have always truly felt that everything is meant to be and what is meant to be in our life will fall into place and we will not have forced anything because I kind of feel like there's things before that we had kind of forced and looking back, I kind of regret. So with this whole move and with this whole, you know, me becoming Lois's processor and then this whole car thing, I'm like, everything is truly just meant to be with all of this. I've never felt so much peace in my life. I'm like, I think this is our car. I think it has seven seats, like we said we wanted. It is brand new, and I don't like that, but with them being such a hot commodity, I really think it's gonna retain its value. And not to mention, this one dealership does not sell their Tellurides over MSRP. So that was awesome to me. I'm like, it's not like we're gonna spend all of this over MSRP. Lewis the next day went in there at eight in the morning. He signed the papers and we got the car. He then canceled his ticket for that night and he left the, because they had to do all the paperwork and all of that. He didn't get out of there until around 12 in the afternoon. I think it took like four hours for everything. And so I was like, well, I don't want you to start driving today. Uh, just wait till tomorrow, drive in the morning and then you'll never have to stop. Cause if you're in the morning, at least before 10, driving here to Dallas or from Dallas to here, you can get there by eight o'clock at night. And so I was like, just leave in the morning. It's 11 hours, just leave in the morning, uh, cancel your plane ticket and just drive. And so that's what he did. And then my <laughs> car arrived and that's what you guys saw me seeing my car. And yeah, so that is the backstory of how we went from a Tesla to a tell you ride it is so crazy we truly thought we were gonna get a tesla we truly thought we were getting a tesla we were like dead set and then when we started looking into things i'm like this just doesn't feel right and with what we went through with my car that warranty is everything to me i don't want to be in the predicament that we were with the GMC, I don't. And so now my Telluride has a 10 year warranty. I'm like, yeah, yeah. And I love the car. She's so smooth, she's so loaded. She tells me when I can get over, it is so cool. Once I get her washed, because she's got sand all in her. We named her Sandy that night. I was like, okay kids, we need to name our car. And this was before we had truly gone to the beach ever since we moved here because it was cold. Let's name her something beachy. So let's think of some names. And so the first thing the kids said was Sandy. And I was like, how about Pearl? Because the color of her is Pearl. Like, no mom, Sandy, Sandy. And I was like, all right, you know what? The kids want it, let's just do it. And I am so glad we picked Sandy because there is sand all in my car from the beach. It is 
just all over. So as soon as I get her detailed because she needs it badly, I'm gonna do a whole car tour and show you guys this cool car because she has some baddie features of the car. Now, I do think Tesla is going to be in our future, but I don't think it's gonna be right now. That is the story of the car situation. The charger that I did buy, I looked on the Tesla website and you actually have to bring it into a Tesla dealership to return it. The closest one to us is about two hours away. So yeah, I was like, well, that's gonna be difficult. And these chargers are $500. So I'm like, that's quite a bit of money to just keep for the future Tesla. And then what had happened was my little baby boy decided that he was gonna poke a hole in the box. So he completely destroyed the top of the box with holes. Did you poke holes in mommy's box? Yeah. Yeah. Yep. I already sold it. So what I did, instead of driving two hours and not be able to get the full refund because the box is now destroyed, that they can't resell it because once you opened it, they were no longer gonna be able to, um, to sell it. It wasn't open, but it was destroyed from this little one. There are a lot of people that drive Teslas here. So what I ended up doing is I went on the website, like the Facebook page that you can buy, sell, and trade. And I posted it for sale. I took $100 off of it. So obviously somebody would come and buy it. And I got somebody to buy it. So we were only negative $100 with the whole Tesla experience and probably saved us a lot of money. So that is what happened and why we went from a GMC to a Tesla to a Telluride. But I love my car. Do you like my car? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. 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 I'm a baby. My, my name is Egan. My name is Egan and a baby. Boom, boom, boom. boom, boom. All right, I gotta go back to work. Yeah.